If your nib's too slow and your ink won't flow, here's one of the places that you can go. Larry is here to help you through with Mr. Announcer and Cubby too. It's Larry's Fountain Pen Review. Hey, welcome my friends. My name is Larry Baronis. I'm your host in Fort Worth, Texas. Welcome back to my channel on Larry's Fountain Pens. Well, today I'm going to review the last pen I have to finish my collection up of one of my favorite brands. It's Coughlin. Yes. Uh, so, let's look at the box. Typical box that uh, they come in right here, and it's well displayed about people on the front line. These are people that are on the front line risking their lives to help save other lives. So, they do a lot. So, who are all these people? Well, you've got people working in the lab, you have police officers, you have nurses. Uh, you have uh, doctors, uh, medics, uh, fire department, uh, ambulance, uh, armed forces. Uh, it just keeps going on and on. These are all the people that are right there for us. And, you know, Conklin was established back in 1898. And thanks to Yaffa, Yaffa rocks, Yaffa. They took them under the ring and they kept this brand alive going. And they kept it at an affordable price as well. And they've made a few changes to the pins uh, that I want to go over again with you. But your typical box, you can find the opening of the box in my mail call review. And it does come with a little pin and it does say, Mr. Announcer, it says the name of the... Uh, I believe it was the Sclepius. Yes. That's a cool looking, what, say snake, right? Yeah, I like that. That's going to go on this hand right there. And it comes with a bottle of Cochlin Courage Black Ink, which is some dynamite ink. So, let's get this out of the way now. So, here is the pen that I, I purchased the pen, wasn't given to me, from Federal, Federalist Pens in Paper. Yes. So, if you're looking for a place to shop, check out Frank's at Federalist Pens. You can't go wrong. He's got all kinds of discounts, and he's got the Larry code. Isn't that correct? Going yes. Right now? Put, yeah. in, put in the code for Larry, and you'll get 10% off. So, that's pretty cool. So, remember, if you're shopping... And you like to shop at Federalist Pens, put in the code Larry for that extra 10% off. Every little penny helps nowadays. Does it not? That's cool. So, so the number on this pen is going to be 0622 out of, of course, 1890. Uh, where did I say? Eight. 1898. Yep. 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 So 622 out of 1898. All right. So. Real quick, let me bring in another one. Here is the black one. Beautiful, is it not? All the same weight, all the same dimensions. So, I need to go into that. Uh, and this one is uh, da, 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 0856. So, this is 856. All right. Last but not least, a beautiful white one. And it's gorgeous just to die for. Uh, 0596, so 596 on that one. So, you know, once they sell out, that's it. To my understanding, they're gone. And, uh, and then you're going to see how these prices will jump up on eBay. <clears throat> it's incredible. Uh, when people, when sellers, especially on eBay, see a good thing, they know that a pin's hot. And people really like it. And uh, 
they tend to shy off and wait for sales to come on or wait to see it on eBay for a lower price well <clears throat> a lot of times you're going to get a higher price if these pins are really a good seller and in my opinion they're dynamite or I wouldn't be having all three of them <clears throat> so this one is a broad net and you haven't seen how that one writes yet but you will in a minute and I believe this is my fine Yes, it is. I knit. Dun, 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 dun. And the black one is a medium nib. Okay, so I'll get those in order. Uh, I wanted to have one of each nib so I can show you guys. Also, I need to get the, I think it's at the 1.1 stub. I need to get that one, and that's going to be in a... Conklin Walnut. I have that one that Frank from Federalist Pins gave to me for review. Uh, and it's the beautiful black trim on it, the gunmetal trim. Well, the one I'm going to be wanting next is going to have the, the uh, rose gold trim on it, but with a stub nib. So that way I can have a lot of fun with the different nibs. So, let's talk about nibs. The nibs are the new nibs in house now. They're the Jovo number six nibs, and in my opinion, they are mighty sweet. They deliver. Uh, the uh, converters in the pins. Remember, don't pull them. You want to twist them out and twist them in. Okay, they have threads on the end of the ink converter. You got it? All right, because <clears throat> I I know some people that have tried to pull, 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 and Finally, they'll pull it and strip it all out. That's not good. Not healthy for your pen. So, we got a number six nib going on now. Jovo nib. They've changed over. And they had that famous rocker arm on the cap. Love it. Look at the detail here. If we can get a good close-up shot of this. Beautiful, is it not? All right, there's a shot of it. Beautiful clips, the design, the band as well. And then at, on the barrel, it does say the, uh, I better look at it, Coughlin, yep. The trademark Coughlin in Toledo, Ohio, USA. Uh, American, I'm trying to look at this. Uh, da, 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 da. And of course, like I just said, it gave the limited uh, edition and the number 0596 out of 19, um, out of 1898. And that's how it goes down on the rest of the pins except for the number of the pin. Okay, so let's open this little jewel up and let's get my notebook over here, which I'm going to be working in my log me film note but I'm using the endless recording notebook that I purchased from the Federalist pin people when I say people huh one person he does it all by himself so anyway here it is and I'm just going to use the bottom of this part here and we're going to take a little trip down nib lane and I want you to see this beautiful nib. It's got the smiley face. They're all identical. Right, so we got that done. Can you see that pretty good there, Mr. Announcer? Uh, not with the light. Okay, now. Got yep. that smiley face. Okay, so let's go on. So, here we go. And... Let's get it going here. And I'm going to be using the Diamond Red Dragon.
and we'll just use some swirls. Really good ink flow. Smooth, wet nib. Look at that. You can just tell. Bam. Sweet. Reverse writing. And so on. It delivers. Okay. Fast writing. All right. So next we'll go with the medium nib. And this one is going to be, I think, the Mont Blanc. The James Dean Rebel Red that's in it. Red of beautiful links. And we'll do a few of these. And we'll do the wet test on it. Beautiful, beautiful, wet. Reverse writing. Okay. And fast writing. I'm making sure I'm keeping this nib to paper because sometimes I do this. And people will see see this and they say, oh your nib's baby bottom or it's skipping. No, it's me. My fault. So that's that. Those that too. So you've seen the broad nib, you've seen the medium nib, and you've even seen the ink colors, the Diamond Red Dragon. Mont Blanc James Dean Rubber Red. Now, the last one. And this has a fine nib. And the ink is going to be Noodler's. What is the name of this one? Maybe it's no good anymore. Widowmaker. Okay, so. See, I'm trying to hold this paper down so it'll get a good write on it because it won't if it doesn't. Because it's a nice, rich, smooth, wet nib. And we'll do a little wet test on this fine nib. And it's wet, not as wet as the others, but it does a nice job. And you can get some writing out of it, but it tends to kind of just thin out when you get to the fox.
So now let's do some lines variation between the fine with the downstroke and the cross stroke. Nice color of ink. And we're going to go with the medium. And you can tell the difference. I hope you can. I can tell it immediately. And last but not least, the broad nib. So, from a fine to a medium nib, you immediately see that big jump as far as the width goes on that downstroke. And the same with the cross stroke, you can see that big jump as well. So, when you go from the medium to the broad, it's a step up, but not a whole lot, but you can still see a bit difference that on the downstroke, it's a little bit wider than the medium, just enough to make it right. And then when you go on that cross stroke, you'll see the medium about the same way on the broad, with the broad just a little bit more width than the medium, right there. Right there, so. And this is the broad. Just a real nice writer. So, there you have it, my friends. What do you think? On these beautiful Coughlin All-American fountain pens. They not only look magnificent, they write very well. So, that's all there is to it. So, if you're interested in a Cochrane All-American Courage, get them while they're still available. And uh, I hope you enjoy it, these pens as much as I do. I get a lot of fun out of them. Uh, with that said, I'm going to end the show. Really big show. <laughs> Those are my buddies over there. They're like in the crowd. So anyway, <clears throat> hey, be safe. Follow the rules. Wash your hands. Keep your mask on. Do the distance. The good news is the vaccine's on the way. Help is on the way. So hopefully this will all be a plus for all of us that have been waiting for the vaccine. But didn't they ship it out? Already in, in FedEx trucks, I believe I read it. So it's coming. So uh, I'm waiting to see where they're going to be giving them and uh, when uh, the age brackets are going to start getting them. What wave, you know, like for me, what wave will I be in? So, but uh, yeah, I'm going to get mine for sure. Bam! <clears throat> Hit me up, brother. So I'm excited. It's dynamite. It's a lot of fun. You're a lot of fun. You're so cool. You're cool like your school. Peace and love. So, with that said, time for me to split. And I think I'll show you one last time these beautiful, gorgeous, Cochrane, all American courage. This is the set. Thank you, folks, and we will talk to you later. As always, don't text and drive, and a lot of peace and love to you. Bye-bye!